up guys, this is Juice Shaker Views, and behind me, I have a very, very special car for you, the beautiful 2018 XC90 T6 Inscription, that's a lot, to, that's a big name, what, what that means is this is the biggest SUV you can get from the beautiful, the wonderful, Swedish company of Volvo, now the back in about 2000, Volvo came out with an SUV to came out to compete with other cars, with other things that are, are out there. They were doing good for, for a good while, but they didn't change anything for about 20 years. And this is the latest generation. Now, be sure, be sure about the other videos because I have more videos out there. Now, for the honest walk around. Take a look at this, guys. Oh, I just love this Volvo. Ever since I saw this car, I have been dying, dying to drive one and review one for you guys. I mean, look at it. What other car in the world looks this good? Key features about this car that I love. These lights. When I first saw these, I thought these were like from outer space. I mean, look at this. Split LED lights. That's just beautiful. Now these are called the Thor's Hammer. Because Volvo is a Swedish company. And they are from... And they their descendants go all the way back to the Vikings. So why not put a little Viking in here? Thor, I love it, Which I just love. What I love about what a company does. They, they express their heritage and their cars they make. I love the grill of this car and this color. This color is called Ice White something. I don't know. I'll look it up later. Look at this. Oh, look at you. You're beautiful. This is probably one of the prettiest cars I reviewed. Look at this. Oh. Oh, I just. Uh, I love this car. Alright. Ooh, power lift gate. Look at that. <sighs> it's this thing is just beautiful. Wow. Little clutch press the button or you can press this button and it will lock the car for you. I like it when car wow, I don't have to do anything. Now this car is all wheel drive, so I'm excited to drive this thing. Check out the wheels. Nothing says more elegant than big tires that have multiple spokes. I, I really like these wheels. Look at them. They're not, they're not sporty, but they're very elegant. And that's what this car is. It's a luxury car. It's supposed to be elegant and just per beautiful. And it is. Check out this beautiful four cylinder. Yeah, you know, you're asking four cylinder and it's this big SUV? Why did they put that? Well, this thing just ain't an ordinary four cylinder. This is an, a 1.8 liter four cylinder that's twin charged. Now, you may be asking yourself, what's, what does that mean? Twin charging is a combination of a supercharger and a turbocharger. So, this thing, this thing's gonna be crazy fast. Look at the, look at that. That's a turbocharger. And I believe under this plastic thing is a supercharger. Pretty nice. I like the way this thing looks. Very elegant. Very nice. Alright guys. I've been waiting for this for a long time. The set. And a Volvo. Ooh, here we go. Ooh. Oh my god, look at this! Oh my god. Oh my god, this car is cool. Alright, there's a lot, I mean a lot about this car to talk about. So, the owner is going to explain me how to do everything so I don't miss 
anything about this beautiful luxury Volvo. <sighs> Man, she's pretty. All right, guys, time to start this baby. Check this. Uh, check this key fob. I love, love Volvo key fobs. They're absolutely beautiful. I most car brands they're nice, but this one's wrapped in leather. Look at that. That's what you get when you have a Volvo. All right, time to start this baby. Let's start this car. Point your foot in the brake, and you would think, oh, it's right here, right? No, it's not. Right here. Start it. You twist it. Whoa. Ooh. Oh. Wow. First impression. This thing is cool. Whoa. Wow. Just wow. After talking with the owner, well, I guess the son of the <laughs> the son of the owner. I mean, this thing is godly nice. I mean, it's a luxury car, but this thing is loaded, like a loaded baked potato, with everything you want on it. Look at this giant screen. Now, now comparing this to the Tesla with a 12-inch screen, this looks small, but this is pretty big compared to most cars. Look at this. Driver performance. Yeah, different stuff. Trip. Different stuff. Oh, remind you how to do it. Oh, there it, it is. is. <laughs> Look at all these buttons you have. ESC sport mode. Parking. Park assist. Adjust passenger, passenger seat. <laughs> yeah. Can that, like, can you, like, annoy your... Yes, you can. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you can annoy the crap out of your passenger by pressing that little button. Oh, this car is amazing. Camera. Wow. <gasps> oh. View on this. Oh, that is cool. Wow. That is just... Dang, that's cool. I love 360 cameras. Wow. Ooh, ooh. Cooled seats, cooled steering wheel. Wait, what'd you just say? Or, sorry, heated steering wheel. Oh, I was about to say, there is no... They need, to, they need to add that, though. Yeah, they should. Man, this thing is just... Wow. Wow. Bending headlights. If we were at night and you actually turn the car, turn the wheel, uh, the lights would actually turn along with your turning of the wheel so you got more visibility. Wow. Check out the gauges. Man, digital display. And look, navigation is in the middle of it. If you want to set your little cruise control. I'll show you guys that. Heads up display. Not sure if you can see it. Most cameras can't see it, so. But it's there. It shows you your speed limit and how fast you're going. Yes. It's pretty nice. And it shows you right there. And look at that. Not sure if you can see that. But right here, around here, is about 25. And look at that. There's a little red dot on the 25 letting you know. Don't you dare. Don't you dare go that fast. Man. All right, play with the little settings. Oh, I can do that. In, oh, mm -hmm. wow. I like the design. It's not too overcrowded. A lot of cars that I've been driving, they have lots of features, and I love them, but they crowd the center, and there's so much that you, you, you just you forget what does what. This, it's very simple. What does that do? That does the cruise control. What does that do? That does the parking thing. What does that do? Volume and voice. It's very easy to figure out what this thing does. And we have a special button you wanted we want to show you. Say you uh you have some you have some kids and they're annoying you. You press a button right there and to the honors. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> this 
car is funny. Oh my god, I love this car. Of course, I am Swedish myself, so I love seeing what my hair, my people with my heritage can create. There's also um, a lane aid. Uh, if you start the drift off lane and you're not actively holding the steering wheel that much, it will actually turn the steering wheel for you. So uh, there is that kind of aid. Of course, and of course, you get parking sensors and alerts when this car's near you. Oh yeah. Uh, pretty oh, standard for a lot of luxury vehicles. I like the two-tone interior. I like the dark here. I like the white, and I love the wood. I love that wood. Love wood. Love cars are when you buy a Corolla or something like that. You can get wood, but it's usually fake. Mm -hmm. This ain't fake though. That is. Oh, I can just feel the grain. Oh, that's so nice. This car is... Oh, I love Wall Street cars. No power shifters. Surprise. You don't get power shifters. But that's alright. I like this car. So, yeah. Um, is there anything you can do with the center? Like, change? Uh, should be able to do some, a, lot of, a lot of good stuff. Uh, you get trip meters and whatnot. MPG. Uh, but I think most of it happens on this, this screen. Yeah, which I like. I like... What's the funny thing when the Audi does, you, you can, one of their cars you can buy doesn't even have that. It's all in that. Wow. Yeah. I love this car. Man, this thing is just... Of course, you get parking assists and whatnot. Of course. I love the way this car is designed. It's very luxury. Everything you touch feels nice. Everything you look at feels nice. It's just... It's just a nice car to be in. I really like this car. Look at that metal, beautiful wood trimming. Oh, oh, I love this car. I love this car. All right, cool thing about this car I like is different drive modes. You have, let's see. Oh, you have to push it? Yes. Comfort, individual, dynamic, off-road, and eco. That is cool. Not sure if you want to take this off road though. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I'm not gonna do that. But it's cool that it has it though. Absolutely. All right, gotta give an exhaust now. Oh, that's just elegant. Press it down a little bit harder. Hmm. Not bad. Does it, does it turn louder if it's in? No. Okay. Wow. Oh, this car is nice. <laughs> Alright guys, you know what time it is. Time to drive this baby. Alright guys, time to drive the Volvo XC90 T6 Inscription. Good God, it's a long name. Alright. Oh, 360 view. Look at that! Oh, that's cool. Oh! That is cool. That is so cool. I love 360 cameras. All right. Oh, that's cool. Oh, it stays on too. That's cool. Wow. Wow. I'm being very careful with this car. <laughs> First impression. It's a big SUV. <laughs> I believe this is the biggest thing Volvo makes. Mm -hmm. Wow. Typically right. they were reserved for small luxury cars, but this is a, it's a big change. Yeah. <laughs> Quite literally. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. This thing is huge. Wow. Wow. Right now it's in comfort mode, so we're just going to relax a little bit. It's gonna get used to it. Wow. Wow. Dang, this thing is cool. It's so nice and luxurious. It's something that I'm getting used to, but I like it. All right. That's cool. <laughs> wow. It's very comfortable. Wow. 
Now, this to me is as, I want to say as big as a Highlander. Or, I guess, the GX or NX for Lexus version. I like this car. It also has a start-stop system, so when you stop the car, it will stop the engine. This is saving oh, really? fuel. So. See if it does that. Do you can do a quick stop. Can you do it? I think so. I think I think uh, I have it turned off. I don't really like right. it that much. Yeah, don't worry about it. I like this car. All right, guys, we're gonna put this thing into different driving mode, high performance. Did you get that? Yes. All right. It's in dynamic mode. We're all gonna throw this about two times just to see what it does because this is a pretty new car, and I don't want to damage it or anything because. This is a very, very, very nice car. All right, it's the first time flooring it. We're just going to do it a couple times. Whoa! Okay! Oh! Oh! <laughs> I did not expect that! Holy Jesus! It's an all—it's all-wheel drive. Oh my God! That was quick too. Oh. Oh, I did not expect that. I did not expect that. To me, this thing is like, it's like getting a shot. You know it's coming, but you don't know when it's going to come, and it just surprises you. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. my god, that was quick! Of course, dynamic mode, it changes the uh, throttle response, gives it, makes it a little more touchy, and uh, it keep, keeps uh, the engine in the high rev range for longer. You always have that power on tap whenever you need it. I feel it. I feel it. This car is fun. Wow. Oh my god. Jesus! I don't know the 0 to 60 time on it, though. Man, that's pretty fast. These things are fast. Especially mm -hmm. the pulse starter. Wow. Alright. One more time. Okay. <laughs> It's a lot of power. Oh, oh wow, this Evo is saying, you're going a little fast, so I have to restrain you. <laughs> this thing is quick. A lot of safety features, a lot of comfort features. Oh, yeah, I like this car. Wow, it's quick. I mean, this thing is very, very, very quick. Now, this thing isn't as fast as, other, as the Tesla or anything like that, but... I like the dynamic modes. It went from being a just a regular luxury car, com very comfortable, to suddenly being a race car and it's throwing me into the sleep. Oh my god, I love this car. Oh, Volvo, you've done an amazing job with this car. Oh. Alright, one last time. It really pushes you. <laughs> sure does. Wow. Wow. This thing is cool. I like this car. The only thing you have to get used to it, it's big. But the, th the thing about this is if you're used to driving trucks, it's about the same size as that. To me, this feels and drives like some of the big trucks I've been driving. And those things are tuned to be like an SUV. So, if you like the way the new trucks feel in comfort, this is a good car. I like the way this feels. I like how it's all sport toned. Ah. You also get, um, on your, uh, on your side mirrors, if you see those little line dots, uh, those actually light up um, oh, wow. once you uh, are near an object that gets really close to your vehicle. Those will light up, and then you'll get a warning on your uh, front of display. All right, letting okay. you know. We're just gonna get a tiny bit closer, not too close. Well, you have to get something. I guess you could pull up next to that thing. Okay. I don't want to say. It's just if it's if it's relatively close. You you don't have to get too close to it. 
No, oh, oh, see it, see it. Alright, careful, careful. Oh, you're fine. You got plenty of room. I don't want to scratch his face. It will alert you, though. Oh, wow, that's. That's cool. Like if a car is next to you or something like that, you don't realize it. Mm -hmm. This is nice. I like the way these seats feel. They're very luxurious and sporty. This thing, I like. I love seats that hug you, but I like seats that are very comfortable too at the same time. So it's hard to do that sometimes. Oh. Oh, I love driving this thing. Oh. This is a beautiful car. I highly, if you guys are looking for a luxury SUV that's um, that's from a new brand, and you're okay with knowing about this a new brand, go for this. Cause this thing is just wow. This, wow, I'm just blown away by it. Oh, wow. oh it's, it's ready. Wow, I love how easy, once in dynamic mode, you just barely tap it and it goes. It just goes. That's, that's the, what I love of the beauty of a supercharger and a turbo. They give you that extra torque in almost instantly. Also, a sunroof that extends all the way to the mid seats as well. Oh, my. All right, we gotta shut up the sunroof because this thing is nice. Just gotta hold on to it. Oh, oh! All the way to the mid seat. Mm -hmm. Wow! And this oh, I think oh. so. Oh my! I think it only does that. Gives you some nice sunlight. Oh my god, this car is cool! Oh, oh, that's cool. It still it tells you in dynamic mode too. Mm -hmm. Wow! Wow! This car is just wowing me. Good job, Volvo. You've done a wonderful job. And of course, you know they've been selling these things like hockey. These things price around 70 to 80 depending on which one you get. Now, this ain't the fastest one you can get, but it is, it is one of the fastest, and you feel it almost instantly. Alright, guys. One last time, for all good times' sake. <sighs> okay, that just surprises me every single time. <laughs> Oh, oh my God! I see what you, the owner who could test drive, they gave the dealer a throw of a wide, and I see why this thing will surprise you if you don't expect it. Of course, after a while, you can get really used to the fact it's big and easy. And, it, uh, and that speed, but if you have more than one car, this thing will surprise you every single time, which I love about that. It is still a four-cylinder, so it's not going to be as grumbly as a V6 or my favorite V8s, but I like this car. This The four-cylinder is beautiful. It works. It does what I need to do. I'm sure you can. I'm sure it can tow pretty good if you need it to. We haven't towed with it yet, but I'm sure it can. Volvo, kudos to you. You have made, gosh, a good car. I can't believe how good this car is. I mean, I knew coming in that this was going to be a nice luxury car, but oh my God, I love you. I love this car. Love all the key features it has. Love the styling. I love the wood. Oh, I love you, man. I I'm gonna have a hard time choosing between cars when I get ready to buy a luxury car. 
That's right, guys. Eventually, once I once the channel gets big enough, I'm gonna add a luxury car to the district rear for the fleet. What it's gonna be? I'm not sure yet because I have reviewed so many beautiful cars that it's hard to choose, especially when this thing is this good. Oh, I love this car. This this thing is really, really sporty. What I like about this car is when you put it in dynamic mode, many many things happen. First off, the throttle response. Instead, of, it's you bear, instead of flooring in order to get any speed out of this car, you barely tap it. Watch this. I'm gonna barely tap it. Barely. That's barely tapping it, guys. Barely, 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 barely tapping it. And it's doing that. And the thing is, the steering feels a lot sharper. The suspension's a lot sharper. And the seatbelt is a, is all tightened up because it, it it knows I'm gonna go fast. <laughs> and I like that. I like that sport feel of it holding you hard. Oh, I love this car! I have a friend who is a huge enthusiast of Volvo, and I see why people love these cars. The only downside is it takes 93. Oh, yeah. That's, <laughs> it's a luxury car, you gotta check that. Yeah, guys, that's the only downside to this car is you gotta put that premium gas in it, but it's a luxury car. You're gonna expect to put that in it. This ain't a Honda Accord or a Honda CRV or a Pilot that you can just, you know, you're just buying for your kids because, well, you need something. When you buy this, you're like, no, I don't want a stinking Honda CRV. I don't want cheap plastic. I don't want any of that. I want something that's nice, something that's luxury, like, a lu like my luxury watch. It's an Invicta, and I love it. It's better than a Casio because it's made with better materials. It's more expensive, but it's a better quality. And that's what this is, a better quality SUV. And with the SUV market getting even crazier, I mean, oh God, we have so many cool, good SUVs coming out that in order to sell good cars, you got to make an amazing, amazing car. And Volvo, you have made you have done it you've done it you've made a beautiful car it's beautiful it's sporty it's elegant it's fast it this i bet i bet the, the owner drives this thing every day with a smile on their face because this thing oh it's just insane Thank you guys so much for watching this amazing, amazing review of the Volvo XC90 T6 inscription. Oh, I've had a ball driving this car. This is the nicest car I've ever driven. And I've driven some pretty nice cars. Guys, be sure to browse the channel, subscribe. I've enjoyed driving this car. This thing is insane. There's so much to talk about this car. I'm gonna next will be the honest review, and I'm gonna go over everything I like about this car. Oh, this car is so 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 nice. I love this car. Thank you so much to the owner for letting me drive this beautiful car. Oh, I love this guys. I love this car. Be sure to like the video if you liked it. And subscribe if you want to see more cars like this. I got more stuff coming that are just as nice as this. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching. See you later. Oh, not for the honest review. All right, I really enjoyed this car. I mean, this thing is nice. And I'm not just saying, oh, it's just you know, it's a luxury car. Of course, it's going to be nice. It's it has luxury stuff, and I'm like. No, it's really Volvo knocked down the park. It's nice for a luxury car. I mean, like really nice. Like I would give it a ten if I ten if I was doing like a rating scale.
So yeah, I highly recommend this to anyone who wants a luxury SUV. Just know if you are comparing it to like the Ace, the Ace Pack on the new RDX, I think that's what it's called, the new uh, other Audi, Audi R. S something I think they make that Mac sure or AMG or something like that. Just know this car ain't gonna be as fast as them, but it's because it's a four cylinder and it has a little bit of turbo lag. But besides that, it's a if you're just looking for a luxury car, it's perfect for that. It's beautiful, it's fun. Yeah, well, I love the cool f quirks about it. All right, now I'm gonna give you a new section to the honest review. Only for new cars. My favorite features and my favorite... What well, gets my favorite things about it? Favorite thing number one. I love the weird weird buttons it has. Volvo is known for making weird cars back in the day. And I love how they incorporated their design language into that. And I just... I love that. To me, if, so, if something works, don't stop doing it. We love you making weird cars. Continue to make them. Yes, so weird, but... We like them. That's the reason why we, you guys are made so much money because we like the things you do. So I love the little features like you be able to control the power seat, which was hilarious. <laughs> control the passenger seat. Oh, uh, I didn't really get to see. I guess you you use your own seat controls to move the passenger, which is just hilarious. And I love the headrest function, which is just hilarious. <laughs> Oh my god, that's the funniest thing I've ever seen in a car, and to me, more cars should be that way. To me, all these cars, they're nice, they're no different, but to me, they're coming to have the, almost the same exact stuff. And what I like about this is, it's different. Volvo has really done well to make it different, unique, and stand out amongst the crowd, which I really, really, really like. Alright, feature number two. I love the styling of the trim. I love the nice wood. I love the nice metal. All every everything you touch is nice. If it's if you if you are gonna be touching it, it's gonna be nice. It nice material, no cheap stuff, none of that cheap plastic. Is there cheap? Is there plastic? Yeah, but in places you wouldn't really be touching, like like the the steering wheel column is well plastic, but. Are you going to be touching that constantly? Like, oh, I love, I must touch my steering wheel car and look for some weird reason because I'm a weirdo. But if you do that, well, I guess that's your thing. But, well, everything else was nice. I love the aluminum, like the wood, like the way it drove. I love that the, ne the different drivetrain. I mean, that thing is so cool and so easily to change, change the most. The fact you can go from being just a regular, everyday comfort SUV to a very strict race car. Pretty much it, it acts like a race car. And I mean, that's just crazy. One cool thing I didn't really mention in the video is when you are dr when, when you have a dynamic build, the steep the seatbelt tightens, tightens up really tight. Like if you are about, like you break it, like you break something, or if you... If you're pulling the seatbelt too hard or something like that, it tightens up automatically. I mean, that's just, that's just so cool. And I think the seat itself was tightened up as well. I don't know for sure. That's just the way I felt. It was just, oh, it's, it's a cool car, and I really liked it. All right, now for the cons. Uh, not really much. I really liked the car. It was, uh, it's these are the most reliable cars you can ever you can buy. So. The reliability is not an issue. Uh, ter as for terms of performance level, it it lagged a little bit, and to me, it was almost it was a little bit too much. Like just a little, just a little bit too much. But I would just get you to an email just to be a little, just a little bit less like just a little bit, just a little bit. It's all it needs, just a little. But that's the performance side. If you're not liking the performance side, it's fine. It's perfect. It's it, it gets it gets where you need to go. It's all, it only lags when I board, which I did quite frequently. <laughs> And that's about it. Besides that, it was pretty nice. I like the way the interior, I like the way it was styling, love all the buttons, love how you can put the map in center display. I love that center just stream. Not a lot of people are like, oh, I don't like details of playing. Well, it's 2018, but things are changing. And I and I like that. I like new technology. I love all the, the technology features it had. Love the 360 camera. 
to me, it's a lot of things that it, it sh all the things you expect it to have. It doesn't have massages, but you don't really need that. And to me, Volvo, if you're listening, if you're watching, make a freaking Polestar of this. I said in the video that they did, but I, I wasn't sure. I, I figured they might have. They haven't yet. I looked on this, the different space you can get. The one I drove was called the Inscription, which is the second fastest SUV well, as trim they have. The only thing faster is the Excellence, which is a hybrid. But to me, Volvo, just make a Polestar version. Make it faster. Make it ridiculously fast. All you gotta do is add a, fix a little bit of turbo lag, and it, it's perfect. It's perfect. And another thing you, sh you should add is power shifters. I looked everywhere, and I mean everywhere, all over the XC90 options, and you cannot get power shifters. Which I thought was stupid, because you're paying this much money, and almost every single car brand giving you power shifters, even though it's not a lizard car. That's the only complaint. But... If you're not really looking for a performance point, it's not really that big of a deal. It's a really, it's a nice car. So if you're not going to be flooring and go like, dun, 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 something like that, stuff like that, don't, don't worry about it. So, that's about it. Do I recommend it? Absolutely. I recommend this car to almost anyone. I mean, anyone who just wants a nice SUV. People are like, oh, I don't like SUVs. No, 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 no. Well, it's a nice car. Once you drive one, you can't go back. You can't go back from from driving Vol from not driving the Volvo. You want the Volvo. So if you go test drive this car, just know you, you, you're you you're probably going to buy it because how nice it is. So be sure you've test driven all the other cars before you drive this one. Because I guarantee you, you will want to buy this car once you drive one. And I highly recommend There are a few dealerships around. Around me, if you want to, I highly recommend Jim Ellis Volvo. I love Jim Ellis. I like what they do. Sitting at the Apple Volvo, go see them. I advertise them, just shout them out to them because I really like Jim Ellis. And if you any other any other Volvo dealership is near you, go see them. Go talk to them. Pick test drive what car they have. All their cars are nice, especially the XC90. It's plenty of space. I I just really like the car. So this has been honest review. Just check your reviews. I really enjoyed the car. Thank you so much for the honor for letting me drive this beautiful Volvo. And I look forward to seeing you next video. Sorry it's a little long. I had a lot to say about this car because, well, it's a really, really, really nice car. And it's just, it's just expect most honest reviews for these kind of cars to be this long. So, hope, hope you liked the video. Give a like. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I'm doing lots of these cool cars and I'm having fun with them. And I look forward to seeing you next video. See you later.